Anyway, um, this is my yet another mod room because I've made many, and I think this is probably my most successful. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Never stop fighting for what you believe in. So, it's a lot in here. You're able to <coughs> cycle heroes through here. When it says cycle heroes and you press interact, and you're on either side of the icon. I only have four done so far. To spawn one, click on it with interact. You can spawn more than one. If you want to get rid of one of them, hold interact and shoot. Goodbye. If you want to just shoot them, go ahead, do, do the thing. There are uh, programs to do things. Only these four though. Their difficulty is set to 100, so and one of the best examples is to... didn't mean to spawn you. Have a Lucia. Oh yeah, now if you kill yourself, say you need healing. Because I'm a healer main, I... <laughs> yeah, but because there's this cheat mode, you can do this. Go Farah. Bye. <laughs> Apparently, you can move bots while I you're will dead. The innocent. Um, violent. They'll all kill you really quickly unless you have the speed down low. Depending on how many you're fighting, I guess. Jump. You reset that each time you press the button. So you can practice mid air. Fights. Yeah. So Musical. Biggity boom bang. Bam. There. I'm losing energy. It took me a while to make these. Yes. Yes. Okay, Lucy is a bit too loud, man. All right. So let me explain things here. If you go into your sensitivity. Find a number. Doesn't matter the character that you really want it for, just find a number. If you want it for all heroes, put it for all heroes. I have 4.77. You go into this here thing in settings, workshop settings, and type in or input 4.77 or aka your sensitivity. Then this will do the math for you. Very straightforward. We're all soldiers now. So if it does this shit, just look around. There we go. Looking for this thing. Need this here. Read it again. Now the way this works. If you hit this it is considered a hit, and there is no change done to your sensitivity. My previous shot was this. So, if I shoot and I don't quite hit it, aka I undershoot, then it will adjust my sensitivity up accordingly. This is where I now last shot. You're now aiming for this again, so if you overshoot, it will reduce your sensitivity. There's no set amount for how much it's a change in your sensitivity by, aside from the distance from here. So say you started here, 
and you flicked to this circle and you went way too far, then it's going to lower your sensitivity. Because, <clears throat> like, you're trying to hit this and you ended up over here. So if you click, now you see it lowered by 0.7, which is a hell of a lot. Compared to if you just overshoot by this much, which will lower by, like, yeah, 0 0.06. So it's totally a matter of how much you miss how much it changes your sensitivity. This took so much thinking, and it probably already being made by someone else, and I didn't even have to do it, but if you're watching it, please at least try it out, because hey, it's interesting. And yeah, if you see it go green, it means you did it, and if you see it go red, it means you missed, and it's adjusted your sensitivity accordingly. So for example, since I last shot here and I moved just a little bit, pretend this was my attempt at hitting the sphere, like, eh, I got this far. And now, eh, that far, eh, that far. By the same motion that I've been doing, I'm now able to reach the sphere. So now I'm here, now I'm here, now I'm here, and now I'm so it will differ a little bit because the distance is changing between these, but it's only changing on the left and right axis. You know, you'll never have to worry about the up and down. I still need to do that. And then when I do that, it'll have a left and right on the one side, and then on the opposite side, it'll have an up and down. And then if you're on PC, it'll have a PC setting here where you won't have to think about left or right or up and down, and it'll just average the differences I've already figured out how, but I know how much work it's going to take, so I'm not going to do it yet. Anyway, this is my sensitivity adjustment room number three, I think. It's... The vehicles are the characters. Never stop fighting for what you believe in. So yeah, you can go into third person or first person, and I think I want to keep it optional, because it'd be nice to go into like here, to be able to go into first person real quick, and be like, yeah, uh, now that I've navigated the area that I need to, it might be helpful to see where I'm going with other people around, and then go like, one that I was kind of focused on making it work well as ball. Because honestly, this just kind of feels fun. So the slowing down is, uh, it takes a lot longer because he's heavier, you know. But it also takes a lot longer to speed up than the other characters. But the max top speed is is different Let's see and the weights can affect how they interact with one another on top of them using their abilities gunplay etc etc it's a pain in the ass but it's also promising anyways thank you for watching